Welcome to Talking Technology with NCBI Labs, where we believe that technology is the single greatest enabler for people with sight loss and all disabilities. If you are interested in the latest technology news, products, and innovations, then you've come to the right place. Do you want to talk a little bit about what, what you've created then? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I know there are some pictures here. The Revoca app is basically meant to uh, enhance the way that the world looks so that someone with a vision impairment can can access it more easily. It enhances and adjusts the way that you see the world around you to your specific needs in any situation. And so I like to say it works a little bit like a vision enhancement version of Snapchat, where <laughs> you can hold up your, your phone or your iPad and you see kind of your, your live camera view the same way you would on Snapchat. And then you can add all different types of filters. So things like contrast, exposure, different colors, different inversion options. And you can tweak the way that you're seeing through the camera so that whatever it is you're looking at, whether it's a presentation or um, I used it to play a, a poker game with some friends the other night, or nice. whether you're trying Did you to win? navigate. No, no, I think oh, I was no. the first one out. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I'm pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> That's okay, you've, you've other skills and talents. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so, um, you know, regardless of what you're doing, you can tweak exactly how things look to be specific to you. And then when you find a combination of settings that works for you, so say, you know, you are a student and you're in a class every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and for whatever reason that professor writes with green ink on the whiteboard. I don't know why they do that, but mm -hmm. I had those professors. Um, yeah, yeah, the red have, is the worst. Like I have yeah. full vision and the red is terrible. Really difficult it's, to see. And, and then the markers aren't very good and you're like, you know, how am I? I'm sitting front and center. If I am having a hard time, I imagine other people are too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they are, they are. <laughs> So then what you can do is if you know that and you've set up kind of your your set of filters to help you in that situation, you can save them as a preset so that the next time you come into that class, it's just kind of a, a quick click and you are um, you're ready to go instead of needing to kind of play around with all the filters again. Um, but you still have the option to do so and to customize it for any other situation that you might find yourself in. Uh, it's free to download. So if any of that sounded interesting, I would highly recommend anybody go um, and check it out. Right now, we are only available on iOS. Um, I know we're working on it, um, but we had to kind of start in in one place, and and iOS was where we where we chose to start. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I, iOS does tend to be better for accessibility, anyway. Um, sorry for the to the Android fans out there, but they do a better job on the accessibility anyway. So I would say a lot of people with low vision probably use um, um, Apple products anyway. That is what we have found exactly. And we do have um, on our website, you can go and sign up for our Android waitlist. Uh, that kind of just helps us know that there's interest in an Android version. And we can also yeah. reach out when there's news about uh, the development of that version. That's a great idea, actually. That's a really good to see see if the interest is there and, the, and then go into the development. Um, and exactly. the, fe the features sound great, though. They're, they do sound a little bit similar to some of the features that are already on iOS devices. So how did what makes your app stand out? Like what did you add? What was missing on iOS that you brought into this product? Yeah, so uh, definitely, you know, a couple of things there. The Revoke app includes additional features that things like Apple Magnifier doesn't, um, mm -hmm. including um, different kind of color options. I don't know about other people, but when I was a kid, I was given these sort of uh, plastic transparent films and they were a color. And I was taught to kind of lay them over things I was reading or, or looking at and just kind of adjusting the color in that way was helpful to me. It reduced glare, it helped to, um, Sometimes it just made it easier on the eyes to look at something that was tinted red or, or tinted green. Mm -hmm. We found that a lot of people actually really like that. So that's something you can currently do on Revoca that you can't do anywhere else. Um, we also really put a lot of thought into how we were setting up the user experience. Uh, heard a lot of complaints about uh, specifically Apple Magnifier in terms of the way that the user experience is set up. 
And what we really wanted to do was think about how someone with a vision impairment really truly is interacting with the technology at the most basic level. How can we make it as simple, as intuitive, as easy to understand, and frankly, as, as beautiful to look at as we possibly can? Uh, something that we have always kind of seen and, and really wanted to avoid is that clinical feel that assistive technology tends to have. Um, and I think that it's it's almost unfair because people with vision impairments are just normal individuals and we don't necessarily want to have with us or or use something that just feels like this really clinical medical device. My background is in medical devices. I love medical devices. Um, <laughs> but you don't always want to be carrying one around with you all the time. And so oh, yeah. <laughs> we really wanted to create something that was higher tech, that was more responsive, that was more respectful of the needs of people with low vision. And so I think yeah. that that's really, it's clear that Revoca has been designed with those things in mind. And that's what we hear from our users all the time. Thanks for listening to this NCBI Labs Talking Technology clip. For more just like this one, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. There you can also find loads of full podcast episodes. They're also available on your podcast app of choice or on the NCBI Smart Hub.